What is up in the army? I am Gimner5 coming at you with a brand new video and welcome to Gamer Talk After Hours. This is the part of this is the version of Gamer Talk that we review our uh, series that are done, over, ended, done. You get what I'm getting at. Anyway, you probably know what this one's about. We finished the game not that long ago, and it's time for us to review it. It is time to review LEGO DC Super Villains. This is our review of the game. Um, now, I was the only person that was actually in the series, but... For this review, uh, I is going to be involved in because she has played the game. So, with that, um, it will be me, my review, then her review, and she's not going to be saying it. I'm going to be saying it on her behalf, and everything that's on her slide is from her. I didn't pick, I didn't put anything on, I, well, I put it on there, but I talked with her, and anyway, with that, uh, LEGO DC Super Villains review, obviously, obviously, um, the, uh, we're not fully complete the game, complete, we haven't fully completed the game, we've, uh, completed the, um, story mode, which is always when we do the review, because, in my view, not everyone usually does complete the do all the exploring, so I like having L review just being on the story mode. So if if you want to just play it for the story, this is the review for you. This is probably the probably the most well done of Lego games we've seen in a while. But uh, with that, let's uh, let's go to the review, and uh, we'll start off with me, and uh, yeah, starting with my review, and I gave it a ten out of ten, very well deserved. It was a it is a very well done game, it is in my view one of the best logo games they have ever released, and. I can't wait to see how they, um, if they'll incorporate some of these mechanics into future games, and, uh, like, the storyline, I think, was, a I, I actually really like the storyline, and it might have some to do with it being completely original. Like, the storyline on this, uh, on this one is completely original. Like, this is a complete Lego storyline. Like, this isn't a storyline in that has ever been touched before, and I've... Some of my favorite Lego games are the ones that they have their own... Like, their very own storyline. Those are my favorites. They are so well put together. Lego does an amazing job doing the those types of games. And this one is a great... Example of it, and, uh, like, um, another one that's a good example of it is one I'm still playing, and that's, uh, DC, uh, I mean, Marvel Super Heroes 2. That one, uh, really is pretty much the exact same. Just this one, I feel like it did stuff better. I'm pretty sure this one came out after it. So... Yeah, yeah, this one came out after, but they are pretty much, I think they came out, like, a year apart, but they are very close, they're really nice games, um, and it, I know I don't really count the story, the story packs, but these, this one, they're very unique, the, uh, level packs that you get with, uh, the season pass and stuff, they're very unique, and like, I, re I really like how LEGO did this game, like, 
it, the new Star Wars game could probably, will probably have an even bigger review. We might even up it to 20 because it's such a big game. So, um, but I'm so, I was so happy with this game. I, honestly, going into playing the game, I was very hesitant. Mostly because, well, I didn't, uh, I've played all the Bat, the Lego, uh, Batman games, and just, I never really enjoyed them. Uh, Batman 3, I tried, like, three times, and I just, I couldn't get it, and now, um, Lego DC Super Villains, and, uh, I think they've knocked this one out of the park, and, uh, I, it, in my view, has a better storyline than all the previous DC games that LEGO has done. I can't wait to see where they take this storyline. I feel like they will uh, make something off of it because of the way it ended. But, um, I think this, hands down, is one of the best LEGO games uh, I have ever played and probably will always be one of my favorites. Next is obviously completing the game fully, and I have no idea when I'll be doing that. But, uh, with that, I do really enjoy, I did really enjoy this game. The storyline is very, very, um, that, like, it's energetic. You, you get immersed, I got immersed pretty quickly with this one. Um, just something I do, something I, uh, that we'll probably talk about later, uh, with I's part of the review, is, um, I do like that they really, uh, sh shook it up and had, uh, had it be that, um, you created a character at the beginning of the game, and you unlocked abilities with that character, and... At the end, he became, like, a really big part of the storyline. Like, I feel like that was a really cool way to do it. That They've never done something like that before. And I I'd be shocked if they don't do that again for uh, an another game. Like, if they ended up doing that with, like, a Marvel game, I'd be so happy. I doubt they'd do that with a Star Wars game because that storyline is more... Uh, well, stuck. Marvel, they have actually made, like, their own storylines in Super Heroes 1 and Super Heroes 2. And, uh, those are good storylines. Uh, Super Heroes 1, uh, and just glitches. <laughs> Might as well call that series Glitch Hunters. Uh, it's pretty much every episode I found a glitch and a bug. And, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um... This game is one of the best games ever, and that's why I gave it 10 out of 10. I think it really deserves it, especially out of all the LEGO games that came out when this game came out. This one really shoots out past them. Like, uh, it was released around the same time as Incredibles, and, um, and, uh... Marvel, the Marvel Super Heroes 2 it released around, and, um, what, what other, and, like, a Ninjago movie, which we will never talk about again. I didn't even do a full review on that one, I don't think. Did I? No, I didn't. <laughs> I should have, but I don't think I did. Anyway, um, it's a good game, uh, I would definitely recommend getting it, and, um, yeah, so, that's my review. Let's head to Ai's review, and let's see what she, uh, thinks about this game. Um, you, just like previous reviews from her, it literally just has stuff, like, right underneath the review of what she thinks. It'd be even better in person, but... That's not physically possible right now. Anyway, with that, let's go to Eye's review and uh, let's see what she thinks. 
Eyes review of uh, Lego DC Super Villains. She gave it 10 out of 10, just like me. And uh, her uh, her reasonings are um, well. I will agree with. I will say which parts I will probably that would probably be the same for me. But um, yeah. So she liked the music in the menu screen. Now I will I will agree with this. It's annoying, but uh, I did like the music in in um in the menu screen is Joker and the Thief. If I'm if I am correct about that, um and uh, very fitting because the Joker is a main pretty much a main character in this story. So I feel like that was a good choice of sound. It. Of a song, the soundtrack is really good. Just the one thing I do find kind of annoying with the music is well, when you're at the Hall of Doom, it plays. There's no way around it, it just plays. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, she also liked how uh, you got to play from the villain side. N now, this is something very unique also with this game. Pretty much no game ever goes from the villain side. Like this is very well done. I real that is a, actually a very good point from her side that they barely ever go from a villain side. Yes, in Marvel Superheroes one, at the very end they team up, and in I think the uh, Batman three they team up also, but um. That's at the very end. This, it's the entire game that you are the villains and you team up with the heroes at the end. Which is absolutely amazing. It's very well, that's a very well done part of the game. And, um, yeah. Um, she also loved how you get to create your own custom character to play as in the game. And I, I spoke on this, she's got the same view, that is such a unique part of this game, and I wish they do it, I hope they do that in, in a future game, because I think it's very unique for, um, for, uh, the LEGO games, I feel like it gives them a better, uh, like, it gives them kind of, it kind of shows what the Lego games are capable of doing. Because, well, you just, you never see a game usually do a custom character when the storyline is so big and, and, uh, yeah. Like, I, I, I agree with her on that one. I spoke on it. She has it here. That is one of the game's biggest, biggest, uh, parts. And, I, I went in not knowing that was happening, so I made my guy look like an absolute idiot. <laughs> and if I, if I was able to, I'd go back and change some things and uh, on him. And uh, I probably will do that anyways, but um, yeah. I did really like that. That is honestly what really jacked up the score for me and probably for her too but um it was it is honestly a really good game um i think if if she were to say if you should get it i think it probably be the same thing anyway with that uh the full review like overall score with me giving it a 10 and i giving it a 10 it gets a 20 which is honestly the best score we have ever given a game. <laughs> like, it is a full score. Which is absolutely insanity. Um, as well. Um. I don't think any game has gone a full score. Not even Lego game. Not even, uh, Star Wars Force Awakens. So that didn't even get a full score. So, uh. With that, Lego DC villain, Lego DC super villains, twenty, um, uh, but like that is our over full 
review. 20 out of 20. 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 for I. And um, if you should get this game. Yes. Yes. You definitely should. Now. Keep in mind. I played this on Xbox. She played it on Switch. She it's pretty much the same, but still, it you it it is a fun game. I honestly, Lego games will probably stay on my Xbox. I'm probably still not gonna switch them over to the Switch, but uh, we will see. Probably not though. <laughs> anyway, with that, um, with that. That is it for our review of LEGO DC Super Villains. And, uh, Explorer should be coming soon. It will probably launch in Brick Week. Uh, we will see, though. It's a really big game, so I really want to get that started pretty soon so we can, uh, just work on it. But with that, guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. I'm GameNair5 from the Army Team. Sun enough. I hope to see you all in the next video. And goodbye.